Drop a like on this video within five seconds or you will wake up tomorrow as Ronnie 2K and get curved by every girl forever. I wouldn't risk it. What is up guys? It's your boy Badge Plug and today we have a very special NBA player video. We have the one and only Dr. J, Julius Irving, the man who impacted the NBA, who changed the game of basketball for good. Obviously you probably know of Dr. J, but 99% of us never got to see him play live because he played during the 60s throughout the mid 70s in the NBA and the ABA if you've ever heard of that. This man was so legendary that when the ABA merged with the NBA, lots of people say that it was bigger than LeBron going to Miami with Daryl Dawkins and George McGinnis. He had a very stacked team and lots of people were surprised. We all know that LeBron going to the Miami Heat from the Cleveland Cavs was one of the biggest moves of all time in NBA history. So to even be compared to that is crazy how big that was back then with no social media or anything like that. It was a huge move and lots of people knew about it. So anyway, today we are on a slashing build thanks to my boy Jacob. He will be at 99 overall in the gameplay, by the way, guys. But yeah, Dr. J, if you go watch his highlights, he knew how to hit middies and stuff, but this man was a small forward who basically played every position. He played small forward, power forward, center. Like this man was getting boards. He was dunking on people and he was just so much more fit and athletically gifted than 99% of the people that were playing back then. He was way, way before his time. So anyway, guys, let me show you the player build that we've got today. He's six foot eight, 222 pounds in the slashing takeover. Now, if you Google Dr. J, he's six foot seven. And on top of that, a lot of players are not measured with their shoes. So either way, even if he is actually six foot seven, it's just an inch. So let me show you the progression. This build has insane inside stats. At 99.9, .9, he's gonna have a 99 driving dunk. But after like one bucket, he's gonna have a 99 anyway. Then, you know, there's some things I would change. Like I wouldn't put free throw up. I would put shooting up or put defense up. But this guy clearly made his build to be a slashing type of monster so it has 30 hall of fame potential badge upgrades this is what i'll be using in today's video that's pretty much all you guys got to see because that's all i'll really be doing but shooting i've got green machine on playmaking you see what i've got right there and then the defensive badge i've got intimidator so guys drop a like on this video if you haven't yet and let's get straight into the dr j julius irving gameplay all right y'all so my boy official rap is on his two-way slasher and you already know i'm on the dr j julius irving slasher so i drive in off the hot pump and i get a foul drive in once again get a another foul it is very easy to get people to foul you on a slasher so then i hop in and i miss that shot but do not get used to it now check this out i have no clue how this man did that right there i have no clue have you guys ever seen that before let me know in the comment section down below but check that out drive in ha big game on the defender like i said do not get used to me missing because i'm not going to a lot in this gameplay i mean i might a few more times but you're not going to see it very much so i drive down right here off the snatch back and this man gets a either very lucky block or a very lucky or a very good timed block. I'm not sure which one, but then he dunks on me right there. But guys, slashers in this game. You guys know I've made so many videos. I've made like three or four videos talking about slashers. This man pulls up a trash shot right there. But I literally could have fouled this guy out if I wanted to because it's so easy to make people foul you on a slasher. But anyway, I've made so many videos on slashers. Check out this shot right here, bro. How did I hit that 32% excellent? This dude obviously has at least gold or Hall of Fame paint badges, you know, paint defense badges. So he's doing good on his part. It's just there's not really much you can do against a slasher. And you check it out. I'm driving down. Boom, big dunk on him. Now, if you guys have not made a slasher, if you're not enjoying 2K20, like I've said in so many videos on the slashers, man, make a slasher they're so fun they got crazy amounts of vert for being six foot eight six foot nine check it out bro i just ended this man's life right there big dunks but anyway you can have a crazy vert so even if you miss your shot you're most likely going to be able to get your board because if they play good defense they're going to be in a good animation to where you're going to be able to get your board and they're not going to be able to get back and get their board so check this out right here eight to two i drive down once again hop and i get the big lay over two people right there bro two people now not only is a slasher good for getting your boards after you miss for dunking on people but if you make it correctly you should be able to clamp down check it out over two people bro two 
people this is my first game on the pure slasher or whatever you want to call it but anyway guys not only can slashers be super overpowered and glitchy and you're dunking on people but if you make it correctly you should be able to clamp up most centers that you come against now i'm not talking about these 1v1 post scoring centers that are like amazing at what they do with the post cheese and all that you might not be able to clamp them up but 99 percent of the people you play on the twos court you will be able to clamp up with a slasher because they have very good defense if you guys go back to the progression screen it has 99 strength so you're not really necessarily going to get bodied in the paint either versus most of the people you play against you can literally run this build at center or you can run it at guard and they're gonna have to switch because there's no way possible a guard can guard a slasher like if you're playing against a slasher that knows what he's doing there's absolutely unless you're on like a two-way slasher or something or, or a uh, playmaking slasher two-way that has hall of fame defensive badges and high defensive attributes you might be able to contain him a little bit but you're most likely still going to need to switch the center on so that's going to be a big problem right there because during the switch you can pass out and all that but look at it man you can't do anything now i'm in takeover this man has no way to be able to guard me unless 2k gives me a bad animation it's going in you got you know what i'm saying you guys have seen a few slasher videos if you are loyal to the channel if you're new make sure to hit that subscribe button but check it out he is actually finally guarding me the way that you should guard a slasher he's playing me up but it doesn't matter i'm gonna drive in and i get a terrible animation like i said kick it to raptor he kicks it back to me i pump fake make him jump and then i go up with the layup so like you've seen bro i'm dunking all over him right dunking all over him look at this dunk right here the center stopped playing and look at it bro i just i don't even know what to say slashers are in this game they're so overpowered now i'm not saying that slashers need to be patched or anything but they're just so fun to play on now look the center's not playing right so right here i go up i do a hop i shouldn't have done a hop we lose the ball i foul him and look now that i'm not playing because i'm like the center's not playing it'll be one-on-one -on -one. now this dude comes back does anyone do that to you guys when you're playing dude acts like he doesn't want to play anymore and then when they get the ball back they start playing bro i think that was crazy i'm sitting here not even playing i come back and my, and my teammates like yo this dude is playing what are you doing come on we're about to lose so i come back right here and i you already know we put the big clamps on him raptor gets the steal i go down for the oop and i get the oop so if you guys have watched dr j is right here we're going to the 1v1 court because this is the most fun that you can have on a slasher is going to the 1v1 court i'm going to show you guys how overpowered they really are because you've seen dunks and stuff but maybe you haven't seen as you see me getting that crazy layup right there super contested only says seven percent maybe you have seen how slashers play on the 1v1 court maybe you haven't but i'm going to show you guys today the super op cheese of the slasher so i do the post pin right there and the up and under dunks now y'all are going to see that that's the cheese but that's not only the cheese you can add other things onto it like the post spin and going baseline it gives you a little speed boost or doing a hesitation right there look there's no collision system for that now like i said i don't want slashers to you know get patched i'm not making this video to get them patched the title would be like patch slashers or patch this build or something it's so op but i'm just showing you guys that i've played on the 1v1 court a bunch of times you guys know that look there's no collision system on the baseline that's all people do i either play against a post score on the 1v1 court when i play or i play against a slasher who knows exactly what he's doing with the baseline cheese now it's not just slashers that can do that reverse cheese but slashers with their hall of fame badges with their high attributes with slash and takeover it makes them super op so look i'm going back in the post right here and you already know what i'm doing up and under no collision there's no collision like people literally dunk through your body they get animations and they run through your body and do an up and under dunk or an up and under layup now you can stop it sometimes but check it out this man gets a block right there and it goes off of my body so it's something with that dunk because you guys seen it got blocked earlier it's something with that dunk now right here i got lucky then he gets the board i get lucky again i have no clue intimidator is one of the most op badges in 2k history that and pogo stick need to go because like what, what are those badges even in the game for right but you see me cooking up with a slasher did y'all see that your boy badge plug doesn't need to be on a playmaker to be cooking up with the juggle moves but look i go base on and i messed up right there because look i don't do it a lot i'm not you know new to this cheese i'm trying to try it out to show you guys what it really looks like and you've already seen how cheesy and broken it is so right here he gets the and one and it's two to 14 but you guys have seen this baseline cheese already once you like really get good at it it's so hard to stop i dare you to go to the 1v1 court and pull up on some slashers while they're playing guys and just see how overpowered it is now right there i have no clue once again intimidator pops up 
how I got it, but that's just what the Intimidator badge does in this game. So, you know, look, I'm going baseline again. Absolutely no collision, bro. Like, like I said, guys, if you want to have fun on this game, if you're not having fun, make a slasher because they are very overpowered. I drop down, get the big dunk off the hesitation. You do the hesitation and then you go with the other hand and you can get a very good speed boost out of that without having to have a speed boosting build. And just, you know, off the hesitation, off the misdirection, off the hesitation, you can get so much speed. So once again, I'm going down the baseline. Now, I've literally played slashers and I'm standing at the baseline. I know they're going to do it. And you really cannot do anything about it, bro. It's either 2K gives you a really good animation that makes them stop or they dunk on you. So anyway, guys, it's your boy Badge Plug. You have been plugged in. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Hit Plug Nation in that comment section if you've made it this far. Drop a like if you haven't yet, man. It's your boy Badge Plug. You have been plugged in and I'm out. Peace.